We are now during the coronavirus lockdown and as you see our cookie jar is empty. <laughs> but our flowers from allotment are full so and we have lots of it. Um, I received the eyepiece. I think this is a Takashi eyepiece. This is Takashi LE uh, eyepiece. So let me open and see what is inside. I'm just guessing. Okay, now it seems I'm there. Takashi makes the best telescopes, or some of the best telescopes. Uh, but it seems they have also ordered some eyepieces or asked some eyepieces to be built for them, or they designed it and asked someone to be in Japan to build it. Now let's just open and wrap it. They're very well packed. Okay, they look very well packed, so I'm just trying to open. This is the first eye piece, and I'll use my hand to open this other eye piece also. I need both hands. Okay, let me open this one. Um, it's typical of the you know premium brands to just make a simple, non-luxury packaging. Uh, Teleview though is the same. So let us see what is this one. This is a Takahashi uh, LE. 18 millimeter LE 18 18 millimeter ocular ocular means eyepiece so what is this one this is a Takahashi ocular can I read 12 and a half millimeter ocular again LE so let's open and see Okay, this is the Takahashi 12.5 mm eyepiece. Premium quality eyepieces. Very well packed, as you saw when I was opening it. And now, inside this box. Quite solid makeup it has the only thing is that rolls now you appreciate the Skywatch SWA and Celestron Ultima LX eyepieces because they have that odd shape that they don't roll so. quite impressive eyepiece first is very solidly built good quality rubber grip the caps are nice oh the rubber eye guard is really good quality look at it and now let's go Look at the lens, perfect lens, fill the stop, beautiful, sharp, razor sharp. Takashi MCLE 12.5mm eyepiece made in Japan. And when the Americans went to and occupied Japan, the first thing they learned is that they are very good at optics. So after that you don't see anything other than Japanese eyepieces in America. So, I'm going to hold this against the light and see, oh, look at that field of view, it's really nice and comfortable. Oh, beautiful, sharp, razor sharp. And I will test it under the stars also and see how it is. So, we have a 12.5mm Takashi eyepiece, very built, good quality built. Look, the thickness of this is 3mm, the thickness of the wall of this. That shows good quality, good workmanship. Um, one day I will have also a Takashi refractor and reflector. Uh -huh. And this was the 18 millimeter one. Let's see how it is. Put them close together. And uh, yeah, they look impressive. Let me look, remove the caps. Beautiful eyepieces. Look.
Looking forward for the dark sky tested on telescope. Now I'm using the Takashi 8 millimeter. Oh no, 12.5 millimeter, 12.5 millimeter. I can see the details on the actually the crescent of the Venus. Camera cannot show it unfortunately, but it's visible there. And this is despite the fact that the Venus is shining through through the le uh, branches of the tree, dense branches. I'll show you how it looks. That's what it is. And if you can see, the branches are there. If I move my... You see, the branches are blocking the... The, the planet flicks. Yeah. Then it passes. I'm just moving my hand around 20 centimeter and just affects it. Daylight, I've changed the setting of the video so it looks darker than what it actually is. Yeah, But where I'm uh, making this video using a Meet uh, LX200 Classic as a superior object to anything that I've seen. And it has the slow motion controls unlike the LX90. And that makes it uh, possible to actually move the images. As you can see, I'm removing the micro movements of the telescope if it's possible.
Yeah. The cuckoo, cuckoo always singing. 